Good afternoon. Um, thank you, Vista Residences Investment Lab, for inviting me once again. I hope everyone in the event is doing well. Our topic for today is how to tidy up our condo space. Why is tidying up our space important to us? Um, there is a study published in Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin that people who describe their living spaces as cluttered or full of unfinished um, projects were more likely to be fatigued and depressed than people who describe their stressful and um, organized. Researchers found that being around this organization makes it harder for our brain to focus. So uh, how do we, when do we start? First, we need to identify, identify our basic, basic essential and what to retain. When we start to declutter, uh, let's decide what to keep instead of what to let go. Um, sometimes kasi pag inisip na natin what to let go, wala tayong gustong i-let go. So let's decide what is it that we want to keep. Identify the things you want around you this way it becomes instantly more clear what things you're okay with letting go okay first how to declutter ba uh we have to create a decluttering checklist that's the number one step uh, you have to uh you have to be ready you have to have your checklist it's a lot easier to declutter when you have a visual representation of what you need to get started um uh, yung what to do first, what to do last. So, dun palang pasok na talaga yung organization. And then second, you have you try to view your home as a first-time visitor. Kasi minsan, when, when we're all comfortable, um, we tend to accept, we tend to get immune with what we have at, in our space. So, try to visit your home as a first-time visitor. Enter your home as if you're in the home of a friend. Write down your first impression on how clean and organized or what needs to be done to feel maaliwalas. For the first timers, try to get the four, uh, try to use the four box. Siyempre, dito muna, identify muna natin. First, ba uh, first box, you label it as your trash. Second box, uh, stuff to give away third box stuff to keep and then fourth box stuff to relocate especially if you have naman a generous amount of storage you can afford to relocate but for small spaces minsan nila let go din natin yung stuff to minsan we we really omit that no uh, this way it will help you see how many items you really own and you'll know exactly what to do with each item and of course, um, kasama sa pag-start ng decluttering, uh, let's have a generous mindset. Generous to ourselves and generous to other people. Donate your clothes that you never wear or discard the clothes you never touch for months. Or yung iba naman, yung entrepreneur mindset ninyo. Yung mga second hand, di ba? Pwede pa rin ibenta at a lower cost. So, ito yung mga motivation natin to really declutter and organize our small space. Um, for a small space, we, we, we can apply the same concept of a building. Uh, we use the height. We, we think vertically. So, uh, we install shelves up high, making the most use of vertical space means both playing around with taller items or a shelving unit that you install yung highest possible that it can be installed. Um, you have to maximize the height and then um, you organize first. If you have a built-in storage, you organize your muna doon. Don't purchase any standalone storage until you have exhausted all your built-in storage. Kasi ma ma ayos naman natin yan if we only eliminate stuff. We don't need ana we do not need another bulky storage just to store your mga not really essential stuff. All right. And then second, if you if 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 you can see sa photo, we we have open shelves. We made use of um, bins and baskets. Ito naman yung ano, dito lalabas yung personality no homeowner, no the owner. Um, you can play with colors, textures, 
different shapes, different sizes. Let's choose linear tables to save that much needed floor space. Um, we can consider wall-mounted shelves and a floating desk over bulky pieces. When studying your space, when laying out your floor plan, you, you also need to embrace symmetry. Symmetry means balance. This doesn't mean that everything in your apartment home needs to be matchy matchy. Yeah? Symmetry, balance, and clean layout can really help bring a sense of calm and order to a room. And then after that, um, you, you need to also add um, a nice mood lighting. A small room can really open up with the right lighting. In addition to letting natural light shine in through the windows, we can also use additional lighting throughout our space to bring some additional warmth. Yung medyo may aliwalas, may mood. There's that warmness in our space. Another another option for beds, for small space. We have two types, no? We have the bunk bed and the loft bed. Uh, bunk beds make full use of a room's vertical space. Again, think vertically na naman. Um, bunk beds, ito yung may dalawang bed. It's, uh, one at the bottom and then one at the top. Yung loft bed naman, ito yung bed sa taas and then it can be a desk unit at the uh, underneath. So, these are ideal for really small spaces. Eh. You use your height. You maximize the height of your condo space. Also, uh, when you have a small space, it is advisable to choose round, uh, round tables, especially side tables. Round tables provide better use of space in small areas than square because there are no corners. Um, and then they are highly sociable and they create less crowding when sitting down. Another another um, decor accessory in our homes um, are the mirrors. Mirrors can also help make the space feel bigger, giving the illusion of a doubled up space. So we can opt for a full wall mirror. Um, if you don't have naman a big wall, okay then yon. Um, anything mirror, uh, you just have to get the perfect size. Size is important, perfect size dun sa designated wall mo for mirror. And mirror kasi it do aside from doubling up the space, it reflects light. So yung space natin kung maliit siya and then you only have one set of windows, adding a mirror in a wall somehow add uh, light to the room. And in relation to that, we can also uh, invest in some see-through furniture pieces. See-through meaning um, we choose furniture that's made of um, glass, plexiglass, or acrylic, or um, anything see-through materials um, that can create illusion of space. Para they create um, that illusion of space with uh, fewer visual breaks because of load. So if you notice dito sa photo, no, hindi natin agad ma notice yung chair and the table. We notice the white wall, the artwork because magpas yung mata natin dun sa furniture itself because it's see through. All right. So after the furniture pieces, one important factor for you to really have a pleasant room especially if it's small, is your paint color. Um, choose monochromatic light shades to make a small room appear larger. Try to avoid uh, a stark white, a warm white. Uh, pale blue or light gray is much softer. Um, but it, it depends on your personality, on your mood. Sometimes uh, a taupe paint can work with a small room if you have your mirror if you have your, if if you plan your furniture well uh, uh for the paint and then of course we we also need to use plants as for um something to love our mood after you uh, declutter organize everything a touch of green a touch of plant adds up 
to your mood talaga. Um, think of your plants as important pieces of decor in each of your rooms because they are really important. Ma ibang kasiyahang nadudulot ng plants like my plants. <laughs> We we will go into detail na no. Um, yung under bed area natin, we have also options of beds or sofa beds in all home. Na may ano? Uh, what I call that is trundle bed. So you can create a second sleeping area that slides under. Alright, and then uh, we also can use the inside of our cabinet doors. I'm sure ito, namin na ito sa mga tips, no? Parang na-oversee lang siya. Let's try to work on it. Um, some, some put their mirror dun sa loob. Pero you can also, let's say for example here, naka-blackboard siya and may hooks. It adds up, um, um, I mean, functionality dun sa space. It's like maximizing each each corner, each space. Ito nga, door ng cabinet na maximize pa natin. Alright. Um, next would be um, yung hooks. And, um, the hooks, maraming option yan. You can um, make it decorative and functional. Um, closets naman, make sure, kanina kitchen cabinet na yun, make sure our closets are 100% used. We can also install hooks, mirrors, or our organizer, liba our um, scarf organizer. Let's use it dun sa door ng closet natin. Also, you can stick hooks on the wall to hang towels, robes, and any other must-haves. Marami ng decorative hooks also available in all home. Marami dyan that will match your personality, whether it be industrial or funky or young. So, one, one small detail then na pwede natin gamitin is to uh, use containers, canisters. Um, we can actually choose a color, di ba? Parang when you're opening your pantry or your cabinet, it's really nice to to see it organized or properly labeled. Especially the clear canister, kasi kita natin yung laman. And then you just, I mean, pwedeng DIY label or if you want yung mga tinatype. It's a fun, it's, it, we, we need to also infuse fun in how we organize, no? So there, um, yung, uh, declaring route na, um, let's make it a routine. Let's make it a habit. Actually, it should be part of our lifestyle. Um, especially for small space, you know, the, the smaller the space, the faster it's going to become messy. So it should be a routine, let's say weekly or once a month. Para rin hindi tayo mahirapan. Um, uh, aside from that, no, marami rin drawer or nicer available sa all home. You can visit any store near you and we have all your, ano, decluttering and organ organizing um, stuff. All right. This uh, this tip naman, yung, uh, own as little as possible. Medyo mahirap to because uh, as we as we go through a year, diba, ang dami nating na-accumulate na stuff. But really, that's the trick. The trick is to own as little as possible. Um, identify your essential. Um, your stuff should fit the space. If you have a small space, you cannot really overwhelm your space with a lot of stuff. So before buying anything, ask yourself um, whether it's a need or a want. Um, that will also help you limit not just your spending um, habit, but also minimize unnecessary stuff in your space. And uh, no, no, this this is a bonus tip. If you if you you'll notice before and after, um, bonus tip to make your own visual inspiration. Choose one part of your condo, let's say like your kitchen or counter or closet, and then take a photo of it. 
before and after and you'll see how how it can change your um mindset it can change your mood because you organize parang it's easier to organize the things you need to do in a day pag alam mo ma- maaliwalas yung area mo Decluttering and tidying up our space is really an important way to practice self-care. So that's how it is connected. We need to practice self-care because it helps us to take control of our home and our life in general. We are all working hard. We are we are all um, trying to perform our best. We deserve a home that can give us the time, space, energy, and clarity to improve our health, happiness, and our overall well-being.